so I was over at uh, PAX Unplugged this weekend, which was sick. It was this whole board gaming convention. Um, and I was there with the bros. There were Tim and Ben, and Brian was supposed to come, but he wasn't able to, and some other peeps too. We had a, we had a lot of blasts. It was down in Philadelphia, so it was a nice little break. But while I was there, I was thinking a lot about you know, the board gaming community, and it's a very cool, positive community of people. And I was just wondering, like, what do all those people want, you know, as, as out of the hobby, you know, what is what is the thing that they get out of being into board games? And like, I think part of it is like the social aspect. Part of it is the fun aspect. Part of it is just like games are fun to play with people. And I don't know, the artwork and things are really cool. And there's like a collecting aspect. But I was also thinking like, maybe partially it's uh, to kind of like, rediscover or get those feelings back from when you were a kid and, and playing games and board games and such. I mean, now there's always been board games for adults or, you know, now more so than ever. Uh, it seems like our generation is the, um, we take everything that was old and make it new again and, and make it a lot better. So uh, there's a crazy, crazy amount of cool games out there. I guess, I guess what I was thinking though too is just the kind of boxes that we put ourselves in whether that's like as an identity, as a creator, or as, you know, a uh, person in a relationship, um, you know, your job, like how do you identify yourself? And just lately, I think I've been putting myself in too many boxes. Um, I think, I don't know, like today it was just, I saw that it was gonna be really nice out, so I decided, hey, I'm gonna take a walk, go on a little adventure. And I guess that's really my question for the day is, um, how do you rekindle that adventure of that feeling of when you were a kid, you know? I think that that feeling is super important to life and day-to-day -day living and because I feel like that's something that we miss out on and lose as we get older and um, I think there's little ways of rekindling it here and there but I don't know there's just something about like the whole weekend was just like this week weekend long adventure today I went for like a walk which is something I wouldn't normally do um, just because it was usually being really cold but uh, there's always a reason not to do something right but I also just wanted to explore a little bit. There's some new trails and things and, I don't know, make something cool, do something a little bit different. So, I don't know, I guess questions of the day, what kind of boxes do you put yourself in? And how do you think you can rekindle that sense of adventure that you had when you were a kid uh, around like exploring things and learning new things is just a matter of continuing to challenge yourself. I just realized like I kind of want to be more of a student of the world than just like a, a student of like music, you know? So, I don't know, maybe there'll be more stuff like this, more ideas and questions and things like that so who knows but leave me a comment below let me know what you think uh how do you re how do you rediscover that sense of adventure and what kind of boxes do you feel like you put yourself in and how can you break outside of those and do something different today so this is mike from 424recording.com uh godspeed my friends uh, make sure you do something you want to do today uh, and think different do something outside of the box outside of the things that you do i think it's really important to continue to question not only the things that you do but the types of identities that you give yourself and um, I don't know I, I just feel like personally maybe a little bit of stagnation for me lately and just trying to figure out how to reinvigorate that and and uh, yeah all right we'll catch you on the flip-flop peace